So welcome to the community greenhouse. This is a bunch of community volunteers getting together to build the uh, leading edge solar greenhouse here at David Thompson Secondary School. And the folks out today are all volunteers putting their time into a project. This is really cutting edge for Intermare, so we're excited about some of the prospects for the things that are going to happen here and how the community is going to be engaged in all those sorts of things. I'm involved in this project because uh, I love plants. I make my living at plants, wild plants. But I just think it's a great idea to teach a younger generation how to grow, how to market, and how to produce their own food. It's been three really hard days to get the slab ready so that everything's prepped for it to be poured. We've got the tubing underneath, the in-floor heating ready, and it's pretty exciting here to see all of the slab down, all these guys, community event. It's a big thing for us. It's a community getting together. There's not a thing wrong with helping out the community. You don't have to sit in your own little box, your own little world, and say, okay, well, I'm gonna make this dollar, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Well, sometimes you just leave that dollar there and, and help the people. John Dobson for mayor, I think. Uh, definitely. For mayor. On council, <laughs> just John Dobson. <laughs> it is sort of a milestone moment uh, to see that laid out clean like that. It's been a rather long road, but certainly worthwhile, and uh, we're looking forward to some progress beyond this. volunteer here because it feels like I'm doing something and I know that it's right. I know that it's a good thing to do. It's kind of fun painting. I love painting. So this, this is a solar voltaic panel. Uh, it produces electricity. The electric panel you see here is one kilowatt of production. And in British Columbia, you tie these to your um, electrical service from BC Hydro. And when you're using power from hydro, you're buying. And when you're making more power uh, with your electric system, you're selling. So they, uh, the hydro purchases power back from you. And what we have here is a kilowatt of production, five 200 watt panels. And over the long term, we hope to put up to five kilowatts of production here on top of the community greenhouse. And if we can get to five kilowatts of production, we'll certainly be selling more power than we'll be using, which will be uh, part of our whole demonstration of renewable energy and uh, self-sufficiency here at the community greenhouse. Look how shiny you yeah, are over there, Jay. The nice time, work. <laughs> All right, five more to go. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. This is very exciting for us. Thank the um, close to 250 volunteers and contributors and financial support to this project. 
um, thanks to the Columbia Valley Botanical Gardens and Center for Sustainable Living board members uh, for their, all their support. Thanks to David Thompson Secondary School and School District Number Six. Uh, thanks to the Greenhouse Project team. You just want to wave your hands. Same with the board. Can the say a word about Lynn and how thrilled we are that Lynn has taken the position of the Greenhouse Education uh, Coordinator and uh, it's just working out superb. She's just doing a super job. We're thrilled to bits and uh, we're lucky to have her here. A product of DTSS and Invermere. <laughs> We look forward to years and years and years and years of working with you here. <laughs> so uh, we, call, we, we wanted to have someone a, a little special come along today to help us open the facility. Closing the food circle means more than being in the greenhouse. We like yeah, to take kids out into the farm field as well. How many kids are going to do mulching and how many kids are doing planting? Oh, I can't. Okay. We just what, what are mul what's mulching? mulching? Well, mulching, you're going to find out. Okay. Mulching is I know how to do mulching. mulching. Oh, we're doing mulching? Thank yeah, we're going to mulch. So, how we're going to mulch here is we're going to fill up the bucket, then we're going to dump the bucket in between the flowers, and we're going to move it around with our hands so that it's about an inch thick. And right up to the base of the flower, we're going to put mulch. But we don't want to smother the flower or the plant because um, it could rot off. But we want to keep it right up to the base so that it holds the moisture in the ground and keeps the weeds down. Well, mulching, what the main priority priority is, it's, wood, it's we we're using wood chip mulch, which was grounded wood chips. And what it does is it helps prevent more weeds from coming in and taking more nutrients from the plants and it also helps it grow more and it gives it more nutrients and it right retains on. the moisture. Right on! It's Whoops. It's okay. <laughs> I'm really excited about the community greenhouse. We've had a terrific opportunity already to bring our students down here. They've planted seeds, they've cultivated the plants and then they've harvested them and taken them back to the kitchen where they've prepared delicious salads and herb dressings and wonderful edible flower garnishes to the entire school and also to the greater community. So it's been a really great experience for, for me and for the students to uh, be able to have this sort of seed to table approach to cooking. Okay, so we're gonna serve the steak or chicken with roast potatoes or you have the choice of a pasta Greek salad. And then we're gonna have a mixed greens on there. And the mixed greens is from the greenhouse we picked our own lettuce today, so it's fresh out of the greenhouse, right? <laughs> 